Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Scorpio for the whole of October. And it's quite a full on intense month, but you're good with full on and intense. So I don't think you'll be too alarmed by that. Kicks off with Uranus urging you to look after yourself in some way or bringing to you something that you need to examine. And there's a part of you that might be resistant but actually, the sun, which is in opposition with Uranus, may give you a clue or an insight if you really allow your true intuition to come through. Having said that, that 12th house, which the sun is in for your sun sign, can be a little bit tricky because it can bring about illusions as well as intuition. And there's a very fine line between the two. Is what you're feeling intuitively correct? Or is it a fantasy or an illusion or something that's leading you down the Wizard of Oz path um, without anybody at the other end guiding you on. It's up to you to discern between those two. We have the new moon on the 5th, and the new moon is saying to you, this is a new start for your intuition, actually. It's a new start for your spiritual path. But again, the other side of that coin is that it's the end of a cycle of debauchery and illusion as well as intuition. So you've got to look at those three things in your life, debauchery, illusion, intuition, and see what you want to leave behind and how you can go on to the next step and almost do a ritual, allow yourself to surrender some stuff from the past on that day and step through knowing you're a powerful warrior, you're an intuitive, you're a sorceress, you're an empress, you have within you great wisdom. Actually, it's your birthright being a Scorpio, but take it in the right direction. Because when a Scorpio goes astray, they can get very, very lost in the deep dark forest because all the Scorpios I know tend to live a fairy tale. And often in the middle of the Scorpio fairy tale, there are monsters and demons that you have to confront. This is your opportunity to come out the magical path, following those breadcrumbs all the way home to your true self. We have a four planet stellium in your sign. Happy days. Moon, Mercury, Saturn and Venus on the sixth are in your sign. Now, because Saturn's there, it's still, it's like hard work. You feel that you're heading towards a goal and oh my God, every step of the way is like, you know, climbing a mountain. Do not fear, do not worry. Use your intuition, use your charm, use your magic, but most of all, use your absolutely incisive honesty and laser eyes into your own soul and look at what you need to change at this radical turning point for you. We have Venus, the planet of love, fortunately shifting to a position where you feel much more secure. And also allow yourself when you are having dealings with people or you're dealing with even financial things to, to be loving to yourself and be loving to other people. If you're having any frustrations with finance, if you're having any frustrations in your career, rather than chastise yourself, be loving and know that through loving yourself and healing yourself and being sweet to yourself, then those things will also come right in the end. It doesn't mean letting yourself off the hook, being narcissistic, thinking about only you all the time and your needs. It, it means loving yourself and being a mirror of love to other people, going within love to find security. And love is actually very unselfish. Love is giving. And when we give love, that's when we receive love. So there's some powerful love lessons for you and some very, very symbolic things that you have to change. And it is a bit like a fairy tale this month, but I have every confidence you will come out with the happy ending you deserve. Now, we have Mars, the planet of passion and action in a position for you, which is traditionally all about groups of people, social networking, uh, friends. But I have had a revelation that I truly believe that this now, this the energy of the 11th house, which is connected to your, your sun sign, is about manifestation. And Mars is there. Passionately, you can manifest, manif manifest even your desires but you've got to plug into the one consciousness and understand that we are all one. 
And by understanding that we are all one and putting your desires out there, it filters through and will come towards you. Having Mars there means that you have the energy, the passion, the drive to draw towards you what you believe. So be very, very careful about your beliefs, about being loved, being unlovable, being successful, not being successful, being successful but poor or being, being rich but not loved. Whatever your pattern is in your mind, if there's something within you that feels that there is any lack, really turn your thoughts towards success and turn your thoughts towards the fact that you are a magician in the one consciousness. We have a grand water trine, and you being a water sign has a magnificent effect on you. There's a part of you that wants to be playful and free and to express your creativity, and you will have every opportunity to do that because it's trining Mercury and Saturn. Even Saturn's letting you off the hook a little bit. And that's trining Jupiter, which is allowing you to adventure forth and gather new ideas to you and stretch yourself. And stretching ourselves is the most powerful thing we can do to bring fundamental change into our existence. The full moon on the 18th is quite a tough one for you. It's about going within. You might be feeling a bit self-critical on the 18th when that happens. And it's a lunar eclipse. You're shifting something. But also, again, there's a thread going through this month, which is about taking care of yourself, looking after your nutrition, looking at what you eat, looking at what you consume, not just in your mouth, but also with your eyes and with your ears. You know, don't mix with people that are negative. Don't watch things that are negative. Be quite pure in your thoughts this month. And I believe you'll have amazing rewards with manifestation. Mercury goes retrograde in your sign on the 21st. So really, if you've got anything to sort out with communication, do it before the 21st. Otherwise, you know, things could go a bit tits up and not in a good way. Allow yourself you know, okay, to think about the past, this, that, and the other, but do not define yourself by your past. The sun goes into your sign on the 23rd. Yeah, baby. It, you come into your confidence, your batteries are recharged, and you're feeling tickety-boo. Anyway, it's going to be magical. Let me know what happens. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.